Ohio. Police are held at bay by a distraught man who's holding a gun to his head. Sitting on a lawn chair in the middle of the road, he makes two demands. He wanted an attorney to fill out his will, and he was going to kill himself. The other, only other demand that he had was he wanted to see his girlfriend. The troubled man wants his girlfriend to watch as he takes his own life. Police negotiators try to talk him out of it, but the man only grows more agitated. He was irate, irrational. Uh, he'd be waving the gun at us, and so it was very, very tense. The desperate man repeatedly places the gun beneath his chin. Police know they need to act quickly before he hurts himself or someone else. That's what was so hard about this situation. None of our other tools would work. Uh, he was just too far away for anything else to be deployed. And so our only option was to use a sniper shot. Police snipers are called to the scene. They take aim at the suspect's gun. Veteran sharpshooter Mike Plum zeroes in from a nearby hillside. I knew that once he sat down in the chair, that the opportunity was mine. And the way he held the gun, I knew that it would just pull it right out of his hand. When negotiations reach a standstill... 501 uh, patrol, I, I've authorized the uh, office to fire. The command is given. Bullseye. The man is shocked that he is suddenly disarmed. It was the most dumbfounded look I've ever seen on a human being, honestly. As the man reaches for his gun, officers charge the suspect and wrestle him to the ground. He was cut on the chin a little bit, and I think on the cheek. He was face down, and I, I got down into him. I said, see, buddy, I said, we didn't want to hurt you. And he looked up at me and he said, that was a great shot. After the tense two-hour standoff, the suspect is taken into custody. The sharpshooter's pinpoint accuracy shatters the pistol into three pieces. Today, the remains hang proudly on the wall of the police department.